Mr. Chisholm, how do you account for the fact that uh, no more blacks than have have come to your cause in this primary process and now at the convention? Well, I think you have to recognize, first of all, gentlemen, you have to really recognize that I'm doing something this country has never really been done before. It's a question of inculcation, reorientation, and education. Never before in this country, ever since the inception of the Republic, have you had a woman seriously running for the presidency. I'm not talking about someone nominating someone at the convention as a mere gesture of symbolism and tokenism. I'm talking about someone that has been going out in the highways and byways for the past seven and a half months and saying to the American people that if indeed this is a multifaceted society, that Mrs. Chisholm also can be considered a person that can run for the presidency of this country. I was breaking a tradition, a tradition in which only white males have only been the gentlemen in this country that have guided the ship of state. So you don't expect people, black, white, men, or women, to suddenly overcome a tradition that has been steeped ever since the inception of this republic. So I understand that. I've broken the ice. Mm -hmm. You say that you would uh, broker what would amount to an anti-McGovern position on this uh, California controversy. I do not put it in that light at all. You cannot because you see... I'm just trying see, to make it comprehensible to people who don't understand. Yes, I think something must be very clear, too. You see, what is... What is happened here too, and it's very unfortunate. Since a lot of people did not regard Mrs. Chisholm's candidacy as a serious candidacy, nobody ever came to Mrs. Chisholm to ask what her viewpoints were on many, many things, you know, within the Democratic Party, because she's always been, in a sense, a persona non grata with the professional politicians. But everyone who knows me knows that right from the beginning, whether it would be McGovern, Wallace, Jackson, Muskie, or anyone else, that this is wrong. The principle is wrong, and had they come to me and let you know and discuss with you, I would tell them this. This has always been my stand. Well, you, you of course can word it as you like, but the net effect would be a vote against Senator McGovern. And what I'm trying to get at here is, it seems to me that one of the objectives of your campaign has been to try to bring into the political processes people who felt powerless and alienated. Mm -hmm. A good many of those people are supporting Senator McGovern, and it seems to me the only thing they're going to think is, "All right, you changed the rules after the game was over." Now, how, how can you um, reconcile this dilemma? I think you also have to recognize that a good many of the people who are supporting me, uh, Senator McGovern has been bothering me for the past three weeks, ever since the Rules Committee and the Credentials Committee have been in operation in Washington, D.C. Because many of the stands that, you know, Senator McGovern had uh, assumedly uh, taken with respect to women's rights, Chicano rights, Indian rights, have not been borne out in terms of the votes in the committee with respect to many of the challenges, even the important daily challenge He's not even come out forcefully and said anything about that particular challenge. You can't play the game both ways. And this is what I've been saying for the past seven months since I've been going up and down the country, that I knew in no uncertain terms that Senator McGovern would be like all of the rest of them. It's politics as usual, maybe just under the name of reform. And the committees, the committee deliberations in Washington, D.C., the Resolutions Committee and the Credentials Committee and the Platform Committee indicated quite clearly that many women are dissatisfied with some of his stands that many blacks from Mississippi and South Carolina couldn't understand some of them, but this is power. That's why I have always said that I'm the only different candidate from all of the rest of them that were running. I knew this would happen. I've been in this business for 20 years. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.